All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Powers. So I've got some sad news for you guys today. The legendary golden era bodybuilder from Germany, Jusuf Wilkos, has passed away today. Just minutes ago on his Facebook page, there was an announcement posted by his family. Dear friends, today Barbara, Jusuf's sister, and Arlette and Jochen write you good friends of Jusuf. Together we support Jusuf's Facebook page. With great sadness, we have to inform you that Jusuf has gone from us today. We will always remember his empathetic essence, his loving kind, and his big heart. Jusup lives on in all our lives, Barbara with family, Arla, and Jochen. So this was actually translated from German. So that might be kind of a rough translation. That's why parts of it might not make total sense. But Jusup was arguably one of the greatest and most successful bodybuilders to come from Germany. Um, one of the greatest bodybuilders of the golden era for sure. And in memory of Jusup, I want to take a look back at a biography video that I did on Jusup years ago um, and take a look back at Jusup's career in this video. Let's look back. You guys, Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So today I wanted to make a video about another classic bodybuilder that many people have forgotten about by the name of Jusup Wilkos. Now this was a guy from the golden era, the 70s and 80s, and he was famous for being a training partner of the legendary Arnold Schwarzenegger. So many of the photos that I'm showing you guys here, you can see them training together and, you know, kind of being playful with one another. So they were obviously good friends um, during that era. They were both, well, Arnold was Austrian, but Jusup was German. Um, so his nickname was Zeus. Jusup Zeus Wilkos was his nickname when he was competing in bodybuilding. He also trained with guys like Tom Platts, Franco Colombo, Chris Dickerson. And you can see many photos of him with those guys as well as Arnold. Um, so at the height of his career, he was six foot tall and his competition weight would range between 220 pounds and 240 pounds. So not a small guy by the 80s standards. A 240 pound bodybuilder was a pretty big guy on stage. As you can see by his physique, he had a very impressive physique at that height and at that body weight. So his best wins include the 1979 German Bodybuilding Championships, the 1979 World Amateur Championships, a victory at the 1979 Mr. Universe. So as is the case with many of the guys that I make these videos about, these kind of forgotten guys, many of them win the Mr. Universe competition, maybe the Mr. America, maybe the Mr. USA. So the guys that win these big three competitions tend to be you know, the best bodybuilders that are typically forgotten about. Because kind of how bodybuilding is going now, you're really not remembered unless you have won the Mr. Olympia. And a lot of these guys that have won these smaller shows really get swept under the rug. So I like to make videos about these guys, putting them back in the spotlight. Because I think this guy had an incredible physique. But I have I never see anybody talking about Jusup Wilkos. Um, so I think he was definitely worthy of a video to kind of make people aware of the incredible physique that he did have. So in terms of the Olympia, he competed in the 1981 Olympia where he placed 6th, the 1982 Olympia, where he placed 10th, the 1983 Olympia, where he placed 6th, and his best Olympia placing was 3rd place. Um, so he's tied with Dennis Wolf in that regard for the best um, for the best German bodybuilder to ever compete at the Olympia. So in terms of other German bodybuilders that have done well in bodybuilding, um, him and Dennis Wolf are tied. Dennis has also placed third at the Olympia. Andreas Munzer has placed ninth. Marcus Rule has placed fifth. Gunter Schlierkamp has placed fifth. Ronnie Rockle has placed sixth. So again, in terms of German bodybuilders, this guy is arguably one of the best bodybuilders to ever come out of Germany in terms of placings at the Olympia. So there's also a book written about this guy, and this is this is pretty much what he's doing nowadays. So there's a book written about him. There's a German title for it, but the American title is The Journey of Jusup W. And it's basically a fictionalized biography of him. So it has some facts and then some fiction in it. And apparently it's a pretty good seller over in Germany. So that's basically what he's doing nowadays. He still looks like he's in pretty damn good shape um, by some of the recent photos that I've seen of this guy. So he stayed in pretty good shape. He's lived a pretty long life. 68, I mean, that's pretty good for a bodybuilder like this that had such a good physique. Um, and, and he was around back in the golden era. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you like Jusup's physique, uh, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.